The following program is a paid presentation for Piranha, the peelers with the sharp teeth. Do you want to slice, peel, shred and shave fruits and vegetables in an instant? Then you need the Piranha Peelers, the peelers with the sharp teeth. From the softest of tomatoes to the toughest of vegetables, like a swede, a turnip, a butternut squash, or even a pineapple. The Piranha Peelers microblades are so tough, they can even cut wood, and yet still be sharp enough to peel a delicate tomato. Can your peeler do that? The secret is the microblade technology that works in both directions. Push it forward and pull it back. It peels twice as fast as a regular peeler that only works in one direction. Slice your way through mountains of fresh fruit and vegetables. Peel potatoes with no effort. Glide over soft or hard cheese. Even great chocolate for tasty desserts. Also included is the Piranha Julienne Peeler. Watch how it creates fabulous julienne slices. Fast and precise every time. Great for salads and stir fries. Imagine trying to do that with a knife. We'll also include the Piranha Slicing Board, which turns your peeler into a mini mandolin super slicer. Slice through onions, potatoes, cucumbers, carrots, and so much more. Easy to clean. Just pop the Piranha Peelers in your dishwasher. Your Piranha Peelers come with a five-year warranty. And to show you how tough and durable they are, we drove this car right over them. Piranha Peelers, the peelers with the sharp teeth. Ow. Hi, I'm Dean and welcome to the kitchen. Now we all love our fruit and vegetables. We all love to have our five a day and we know how good it is for us. However, are you someone like me who sometimes doesn't buy fruit and veg because you don't want the prep? No one likes to prep, everyone likes to eat. Now today I'm here with Simon and we're gonna go through a certain product that everyone needs in their home and he says it's gonna replace the knife in your kitchen. So let's meet Simon. Hi Simon, How good are to you? see you. Now, what could be better than a knife? Oh, you got one of these things? Yeah. Have yeah. yeah. you ever tried to peel one of those things? Butternut squash. No. Difficult? No. Difficult. Difficult. Difficult, yeah. What about one of those things? You even cut it in They're half. They're tough, aren't they? You even cut it in half. What about one of those things? Ever peeled one of those? Well, you, you, I just buy it in the packs, in the tubs. Really? What about one of these things? Sweet potato? Straight in the oven. Really? Yeah. Watch this. Because you, I mean, these are hard to peel. They're enough. hard to peel. And you know, you've got to be so careful because of course, it's a sharp knife, and you know what they say about sharp knives? Exactly, they're sharp. They're, they're sharp. They're sharp. <laughs> yes. What have you bought us today? Okay, so we've got your Piranha Microblade Peeler. Okay. We have your Piranha Microblade Julienne Peeler, and we've got your Piranha Slicing Board Attachment as well, which turns this one into a mini mandolin slicer as well. So I'm going to ask you again. Go on then. Why is that better than the knife? Okay, so Show let's me. start with this one first okay. of all. This is your dual action. That means it goes forwards and backwards microblade peeler. Let me show you what I mean, right? Watch this. If I now place this on here, tell me if I'm wrong, but normally you'd go like that. Of course you would, yeah. Okay, and you go backwards. Well, generally, you wouldn't normally go towards you. Well, what's it? Oh, you want to go away from you? Oh, wow. Look at this, you see, because not only can you go away from you, you can go forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards, which cuts your preparation time down look, in half. Look at that. And this is something everyone can do. Because I mean, you think about this, this isn't something you need to be trained for, like a professional chef. So we're peeling and you've got your ribbons for preparation. All at the same time. And then you've got your presentation as well. This is what you were saying to me just a few months ago. So look how easy it makes a difficult vegetable like that sweet potato in seconds, okay? Amazing. Now you might think that's only a potato. That's only a potato. What about something that's a little bit more difficult to peel? Okay. What about something that's a bit... Hi. Right. Now I get asked you, now the thing about these, that is Swedes, yeah. only the hard to peel, you've got to cut them in half to start with. Yes. But once you've done that, you're, you're going to waste a lot. I waste a lot of this when I'm peeling, so I have to Well, how thin can you peel that when you've got a knife? Watch this. You want to peel the toughest of vegetables with it. Now, these are tough, right? Yeah. If I just hold this with one finger and thumb, Oh my. So you're literally just stroking this, aren't That's you? That's all you do. So the waste you get is very minimal because we know that fruit and vegetables are expensive. Okay? Yes. Especially if you might be buying them out of season. Okay? And you might think, well, that's the easy bit. What about the bit on the top? Because that's the root. That's no, the difficult no, bit, no, isn't surely it? Not. Watch, you see, with this here, you can peel the toughest of vegetables in seconds with your Piranha Microblade Peeler. Do you know what they say though, in life? It's all right being tough, 
but you've got to be sensitive as well. You've got to be, are you sensitive? But remember what you get with this, you get grip, okay? Not slip, you get grip. So if you've ever slipped with a knife, or you've ever slipped with maybe a different type of peeler, this grips your fruit and vegetable. So when you pull it through, you get the perfect peel every time. That is incredible. So if you don't buy these because you can't peel them or you can't prepare them, now there's no excuse. Do you know what? It's almost making preparation fun. I'm looking at this thinking, I'm probably gonna volunteer now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's your root vegetables. I mean, these are, these are hard vegetables to do, but is it just a root vegetable peel? Oh, any vegetable. Now, obviously, you know what, you can do potatoes in the same way, okay? Potatoes are easy. Because you know what, you have potatoes so many times a week. Yeah. You have absolutely. boiled potatoes, roast potatoes, chips, whatever you have, right? This will peel your potatoes, however you want. But let's go to salad. What about something like a cucumber? What about something like a courgette? What about maybe carrots? Oh, I love okay. carrots. I love so carrots. we're gonna show you all of these. So first of all, let's do this one first of all. This is a courgette. Now this is the one which is your julienne. So what's different about this? Okay, let me show you the two blades. So this is the difference. If I spin it around just here, can you see the bigger one just here, that's got eight rows of teeth with your microblade. That's the one used for julienne, which I'll show you in a second. This is your microblade peeler, as you can see with those microblades at the front. So Simon, courgette, easy to cut with a knife. Yeah, of course, easy to cut because they're soft, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So if you want to peel one of these, it's as easy as that, forwards and backwards, okay? <laughs> but it really is that easy, I don't even have to look. And I recommend that you do look when you're doing it, okay? Because these blades really are super sharp, as you can see. But if you want to peel it, that's fine, it's as easy as that. Okay. So you could probably do that with a knife if you took it a little bit of time, yeah? It's very thin though, look at that. Wafer thin, yeah. wafer thin, okay? And we'll come back to that in a second. But if we now use the Julienne, watch this. How long would it take you to do this with a knife? To get these individual strips, you know, maybe for a salad, maybe for one of your five a day. Maybe you want to use this as what they call the courgette, instead of the pasta. Oh yeah, that's okay. really trendy now, isn't it? So you know something, if you're doing cooking, if you're doing maybe stir fries, this is the perfect way to do it like that. So we're now preparing food. Preparing, okay. Now going back earlier on, do you remember how we showed you how you peel it? If we go back here, and I'll make a little bit of room just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. If we now go back, to your peeler, we can now take slices for a salad, maybe for a stir fry, maybe for, maybe for a Mediterranean salad, and just have a look at these. Because not only are these super wafer paper thin, look how easy it is to do as well. Do you know what they say? Al dente vegetables leave the flavor in, leave all the goodness in by of cooking course. it less. So you're gonna cook your vegetables less when they're cut that thin. So, or actually, hardly cook them at all. So you can do that with courgette. Yeah? Yeah. Obviously you can do this if you wanted to peel a cucumber. Yeah. Forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, go as quick or as slow as you like. It peels just the skin. And that's all you want to remove. Because you know what, sometimes they say, the goodness is actually just right underneath. Just under the skin. Just yeah. right underneath the and skin. And this is the sort of Watch thing, this. these are like trade secrets. This is the sort of thing you see come onto your plate from a restaurant, but how did they do it? Years and years of training at uh, college and years and years of practice. But actual fact, there's a tool for it. This really makes it yeah. easy. Makes it easy. Now, if you're like me, You'll love being in the kitchen, love to cook. We love to cook fresh. We're being told to cook fresh. We're being told to have our five a day and feed the kids five a day. But the thing that I don't like doing is the prep. And I always seem to get that job. If you're not good with a knife, it's something you're not gonna look forward to doing. But now with a piranha peeler, we're gonna make that job easier, more efficient, and fun too. So stay tuned, we're just about to amaze you. You want to slice, peel, shred and shave fruits and vegetables in an instant? Then you need the piranha peelers. The peelers with the sharp teeth. From the softest of tomatoes to the toughest of vegetables. Like a swede, a turnip, a butternut squash, or even a pineapple. The piranha peelers microblades are so tough, they can even cut wood, and yet still be sharp enough to peel a delicate tomato. Can your peeler do that? The secret is the microblade technology that works in both directions. Push it forward and pull it back. It peels twice as fast as a regular peeler that only works in one direction. Slice your way through mountains of fresh fruit and vegetables. 
Peel potatoes with no effort. Glide over soft or hard cheese. Even great chocolate for tasty desserts. Also included is the Piranha Julienne Peeler. Watch how it creates fabulous julienne slices. Fast and precise every time. Great for salads and stir fries. Imagine trying to do that with a knife. We'll also include the Piranha Slicing Board, which turns your peeler into a mini mandolin super slicer. Slice through onions, potatoes, cucumbers, carrots, and so much more. Easy to clean. Just pop the Piranha Peelers in your dishwasher. Your Piranha Peelers come with a five-year warranty. And to show you how tough and durable they are, we drove this car right over them. Piranha Peelers, the peelers with the sharp teeth. Ow. Welcome back to The Kitchen, I'm here with Simon and we're trying to make the preparation of your fruit and vegetables in the kitchen so much easier with the piranha. We've already seen root vegetables, we've seen yes. how sort of softer vegetables work. Yes. And what about things that you wouldn't normally probably buy because you're a bit wary of? Oh, well, what about one of these? Have you ever peeled one of these oh, things? I have. Yes, uh, I how have. How do you peel one of those? You've got a peeler for that? With a knife. I with sort of know I sort of know how to do this. Got, well, what do you do? Take the top off first, yeah. maybe? Can I take, do it? I, well, you, there's a knife. Right. You, so, I'll stand back, you do it. All right, I'll take the top off. Right, right, I will top and tail it, like this. Yeah. Can I get rid of that in your bin? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's for, right? And then I'll put it in safe. What, are you chucking more away? No, I've just got well, to just make it safe, okay, yeah, right. And then I would just try to cut these round like this. Oh, the trouble is you waste so much. It's a Do you know what? You've got to get the, all the brown bits out, It's difficult, you? isn't it? Yeah, okay, there we go. And then like, like that, and then what would... Oh, hang on, there's a bit That's more there. there. Yeah, the bit yeah. green. Yeah, because the boy doesn't like green. And you get stuck in your teeth, those bits, doesn't I it? Do. And, and then, And then I would... Oh, look, this bit's it's there. It's slippy now, isn't it, as well? It's a bit slippy now. I'm a bit yeah. worried now. But then I've got to um, I just slice it up. But then but then I've still got a bit. Then you go round after, and you just take off the bits that you... It's a bit. It takes a while. Oh, we're we having it for lunch or we're we having it for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> all right, clever clogs. Oh, How you... would you do it? Let me show you. So all of the waste, all right? In fact, I'm going to move this this way. OK. Out you. of the way. And I'm going to get one of these pineapples from over. They're all the same. I did the grow these on trees. Yeah, because they're special did pineapple. They in bushes. Not special pineapple. No special pineapples. <laughs> okay. Hold it by the stalker. Hold it by the leaves. Oh, so break it off. We don't need to yet. Because that you can hold that. Go on. Okay, watch this. Stop. No, 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 please, no. What, you think they're not tough enough? You it's think they're not strong enough? going to do that with watch, a pineapple. Okay. Microblade technology. Oh, you If stop. you want to peel a pineapple. Stop it, look. Look how quick and easy it is to do. You know, it's easy, no waste. <laughs> look, look at the my, difference. Look at my waist. Your waist. Minimal waste oh, every. Oh, by wow. the way, you think that's tough? Wait there. Hang on, where are you going? Just stay where there you a second. That's a game changer. What about that? this? What about this? Because people oh, always stop, say stop, to stop, me, so can I just stop. What? This is a food show, yeah. not a DIY show. Oh, I know, but we want to show you how. Sorry, they'll wake you up. We want to show you how tough these are. Also, so you're going to hit it with a bit of wood. Also, this shows you. Then it's a real piece of wood. Yeah, right. okay, right. So we're going to hit it with a piece of wood. Have a look at this, right? This, as you can see here, look, will not only peel your vegetables, this <laughs> um, will peel a piece of wood. You're mad! I know, don't do that at home. Why would you do yeah, that? Don't do, please, can I just say, don't do that at home. That's a really impressive demonstration. That's that microblade technology. Because it grips, it not grips. slip. Grips, not slips. Gotcha, okay. And that's the important thing. So if you're preparing wood, don't prepare it for your dinner. <laughs> Why would you do that? Don't. Only a fool would do that. Well, I don't know about you, I am never peeling my pineapples like that again with a knife. Do not go and cut your wood with it. Don't go around on your furniture, because <laughs> you know what, you'll get into so much trouble. <laughs> don't do you that. You will, really. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is preparation and food itself. People now not only want their food to taste good, they want it to look good. And people are doing more cutting and cooking. They're being encouraged to five a day, yes. get your food home, and make it know what's in it. And that's the important thing, you know exactly what you're eating. You know, you go to the supermarket, you buy that pre-packed stuff. There's yeah. lots of it there. Yeah. Because it's convenient. Well, how can the piranha help us Watch here, this. Then? You like coleslaw? I love coleslaw. You go and buy the little tubs? Yeah, I love the one in the deli that's all crunchy and fresh. Watch this, watch this. You want to make your own coleslaw, whether it be red or white cabbage, you could use this on a firmer lettuce like an iceberg, or a cos in the same way. Have a look at this. You see, you make this at home, how much is it going to cost you? A lot less per serving, I believe, than you go and buy 
That's that one in the carton. I mean, just cook that as it is. Yeah, just put that into your yeah, salad, yeah. you know? Put it into a pan if you want. I don't know, however you want to do it. But if you want to make a stir fry, do it the same way, remember, with a carrot. Use your julienne cutter. In fact, we'll do that in a second for All you right. as well. So you can see, so you can make your own that. coleslaw. Look at that. That's, as quick as it so. Do you know what that? Do you know what that is? It's coleslaw, but it's what they call that sort of country coleslaw. It's earthy. It's not thin. It's a good crunchy coleslaw. Have a look at this. Okay, so you want a bit of carrot in there? Yeah. I don't okay. want rings and slices. You though. don't want slices. No. Okay. You can do slices with this. We'll come to that in a second. All right. Because it comes with that slicing board as well. But if you now use that julienne cutter, have a look at this. Because now you can do your julienne strips on any vegetable to suit yourself. Or maybe on a cucumber for a salad. Let's get mix that in. Do you know what you've done there? Mix it in. Do you know what you've got there? Go on. It's three of your five a day already. Three of your five a day. And you can carry on, as Look you can see just here. Look, all. how long would that take you with a knife? Oh, I don't even want to imagine. But again, I wouldn't do it. I'd go and buy it, I'd spend more money. And then there's another thing about this, it's the plastic that it comes in. And look at the world with the plastics exactly going on there. Right. If you're making things fresh, there's no plastic involved, is there? Okay, watch this. While we're using the julienne cutter, yeah. okay, this is a parsnip. Right, like a ra <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's in case you're struggling. This, if you're watching at home, this is a parsnip. If you've never seen one before, is that for all the under 10s? It's for all them people that buy those ready meals. You know the ones I mean? Oh, that tasted nice. I wonder what it was. It, it was a mighty bit of parsnip, okay? <laughs> roast dinner, like a roast dinner? Love a roast Have dinner. Have a look at this. Get your julienne cutter now, right? And you do this down a parsnip, okay? Then you place this around maybe your leg of lamb, maybe your roast beef joint, in the oven, about five or 10 minutes before your roast is due to come out, these will turn golden brown. And they'll cook in the juices of the meat. Exactly, look at that. But look, you know what? Also, if you're a vegetarian watching or a vegan watching, yes. this is absolutely perfect for you because you're, you're probably preparing more vegetables than anyone else. What about you do this with a potato? What about you make your hash browns? Rosties. Your rosties. Make oh, you got me you thinking want. now. You know what, the, 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 it's never ending. You need the piranha peelers. The peelers with the sharp teeth. From the softest of tomatoes to the toughest of vegetables. Like a swede, a turnip, a butternut squash, or even a pineapple. The piranha peelers microblades are so tough, they can even cut wood, and yet still be sharp enough to peel a delicate tomato. Can your peeler do that? The secret is the microblade technology that works in both directions. It peels twice as fast as a regular peeler that only works in one direction. Also included is the piranha julienne peeler. Watch how it creates fabulous julienne slices. Fast and precise every time. Great for salads and stir fries. Imagine trying to do that with a knife. We'll also include the piranha slicing board, which turns your peeler into a mini mandolin super slicer. Slice through onions, potatoes, cucumbers, carrots, and so much more. Easy to clean. Just pop the piranha peelers in your dishwasher. Your piranha peelers come with a five year warranty. And to show you how tough and durable they are, we drove this car right over them. Piranha peelers, the peelers with the sharp teeth. Ow. You like cheese? I like cheese, but in moderation. Cheese on toast? Love it. Cheese sandwich? You have it. Maybe so cheese on a pizza? Or oh, uh, on, on a pasta. What about cheese on maybe your uh, nachos? Let's do it. Watch this, okay? So if you want to use cheese, now hard cheese or soft cheese, we had both just here, it makes no difference. So if you want to slice cheese, have a look at this. This slices cheese as quick and as easy as that. If you want it thicker, you use more pressure, okay? Okay. And that will slice your cheese. And your cheese on toast is gonna get a bit further. You're gonna get more out of the cheese, aren't you? More out of the cheese. So, you know, if you've got somebody coming round, <laughs> that block of cheese might last you a week on Friday. Have a look <laughs> at this. But you can carry on peeling that cheese all day long, okay? But watch this, it gets better. What about if you want a great cheese? You got a grater? Yes. Yeah, and you. Well, and you do the that old, and you grate your knuckles. The old phrase is stop nails. at the elbow. Stop at the elbow, <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> now if you want to grate your cheese, use the one with the julienne and have a look at this. Because now you want grated cheese, look how quick. My son. And look how easy. It's a massive fan. Go on. Of cheesy strings. Real cheese, <gasps> real strings as you can see just oh, here. Wow. And you can do it yourself as easy as so that. So this isn't just a vegetable product. This is not just for vegetables, as you can see just here. So cheese, perfect for cheese. Perfect for cheese slices. But what about a harder cheese? Mm. What about a Parmesan, okay? Let's move this and out of the way And we all love here. a bit of Parmesan. And we all love Parmesan cheese. So maybe 
What about a new salad? Maybe a bit of palm salad for lunch? Lovely, thank I you. I don't know. Why not? What am, I what am I having? Oh, this is mine. This is just <laughs> mine. You don't think I get like this by just eating salad, do you? Have a look at this. If you want to shave it, now there's two ways you can do this. You can either do it across the edge if you want to, just like so, forwards okay. and backwards. For Tell me when you're finished, when you want to to stop with the parmesan. Look at that, I, should, I would stop. Keep going. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. If this is my missus, she'd be just keep going. Keep, keep going, going. Yeah. yeah. You know how expensive oh this my. cheese is. <laughs> Have a look at this. But you want parmesan cheese, look how fine that is. And you can crumble that if you want to as well. And that's the thing, when it's crumbled onto rocket and things like that, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so perfect. Now what I'd like you to do for me, in the fridge we've got some chocolate. <gasps> So While you get the chocolate I'll get the out, chocolate. Have a look what I've got just here. I did wonder why you want me to put chocolate in my fridge. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe you do cake baking. Maybe you're a baker. Sir. Oh, thank one. you very much, yeah. Uh, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, light chocolate. It works on all of it, okay? And again, all, all you have to do, look at this. You want shavings of chocolate, oh as quick word. and as easy as that. You want to finish off, I don't know, whatever you're making, a Christmas cake, a birthday cake, maybe a cake for, I don't know, maybe you're getting, uh, maybe you're getting married. No. No, not again? Stop it. No? <laughs> you see, the thing, if you like chocolate, you can have as much chocolate as you... No, right, right. So, all right, enough of the chocolate. You know why? Because we, we can have some later. Good idea. Put it back in the fridge. I'll put it back in we'll the fridge. We'll save that for oh, later. We've been handling that. Look at that. It doesn't matter. I'll put it back in the fridge. It doesn't matter. But you want to decorate a cake. Obviously, you can put a little bit of strawberry around there, do whatever you want. You can decorate. Because I know you find yourself, I'm not a master chef. I'm not a star baker. But these utensils that we have for on Piranha make the job so much easier. But the Piranha is for everyone. This is the whole point, isn't it? For what we've learned today is if you like to prep your food, if you love, if you love food, I mean, I love food. I, it's what, I just love my food. But I love when food's presented well, but also like it when you can present your food, but you don't have to be a slave to the bin and the prep. And now Sunday lunch or any dinner or any breakfast even, is gonna be a better time because prepping is gonna take so much less time. If you want to slice, peel, shred and shave fruits and vegetables in an instant, then you need the Piranha Peelers. The peelers with the sharp teeth. From the softest of tomatoes to the toughest of vegetables. Like a swede, a turnip, a butternut squash, or even a pineapple. The Piranha Peelers microblades are so tough, they can even cut wood, and yet still be sharp enough to peel a delicate tomato. Can your peeler do that? The secret is the microblade technology that works in both directions. Push it forward and pull it back. It peels twice as fast as a regular peeler that only works in one direction. Slice your way through mountains of fresh fruit and vegetables. Peel potatoes with no effort. Glide over soft or hard cheese. Even great chocolate for tasty desserts. Also included is the Piranha Julienne Peeler. Watch how it creates fabulous julienne slices. Fast and precise every time. Great for salads and stir fries. Imagine trying to do that with a knife. We'll also include the Piranha Slicing Board, which turns your peeler into a mini mandolin super slicer. Slice through onions, potatoes, cucumbers, carrots, and so much more. Easy to clean. Just pop the Piranha Peelers in your dishwasher. Your Piranha Peelers come with a five-year warranty. And to show you how tough and durable they are, we drove this car right over them. Piranha Peelers, the peelers with the sharp teeth. Ow. Now, Simon, you've talked about the blade, but I've picked it up and noticed there's some extra things on here. What are these for? There's extra bits on there. Okay, let's show you the extra bits, okay? So we've got a potato, right? Now, when you're peeling the potato, we all know what you experience when you're going all the way around, hopefully, because, you know what, sometimes when you're doing this live, there are no there's eyes. There's one. There's an eye look. That's what we've been looking for. Now... I'll just pick it out with a knife, dig it well, out with you, a knife. Well, you could dig it out with a knife, or you could keep doing that and shave some more of the uh, potato off it, but that wastes it. But sometimes they go right through the potato, they go quite deep. Have a look at this. You can use these little hooks on the side just here. Remember, this is all stainless steel as well, to take out those eyes as quick and as easy as that, okay? So I'll do it again, so you can just, uh, if you save those eyes, they'll see you through the week. I'm not even gonna laugh at no. that. Uh, anyway, by the way, more you wanna see more, have a look at this, you like this way. If you've got a cucumber, yeah. right? So we'll take a little bit of a length off there as well, have a look at this. Because if you want to make your salads a little bit more interesting, if you pop that eye and that hook and move it down the side of a cucumber, yeah of a carrot, okay, of a parsnip. Now you can put as many of these in here as you want to. That's entirely up to you. Now, what you could do then if you wanted to, you could use the slicing board to slice it. But if you want it a little bit thicker, wait till you see these. 
Because tell me if I'm wrong, we eat with our eyes. We do. Okay? So if your fruit and vegetables look really, really interesting, you tell me how much the kids are going to like it better. God, we could do wheels and cogs and all Wheels sorts, on we? the bus that go round and yeah, round. You know the one now? I know. The... Really is amazing. And you can cut these as thin or as thick as you want. So, you know, for when the vicar comes round for tea on a Sunday afternoon, more ham and cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> well, we might as well, because you drank all the tea. So the thing about it, I'm ignoring you, obviously. Yeah, of course. But the thing about it is, it's now not only have you got something that peels and preps and presents, it now sort of takes away all those irritating little jobs that you have to do and stop when you are peeling. So the way I see it, Simon, if you have a kitchen and you yes. eat food, you need a piranha peeler. Something that you use every day of the week, every week of the year. Yeah. Yeah, because we all like fresh fruit and vegetables. We all have food to prepare. So you get your peeler, your microwave peeler. You also get your julienne cutter. Well, that's the fun bit. You like that one, I yeah. like that one. But you also get, and you've not seen this yet, you get the slicing board. Oh, what's that? This is like a mini mandolin, okay? So what you do is you slide this into your mandolin slicer. Right. And now if I choose something like, for example, a carrot, just watch this, dude. Because you go up and down, use the full length of the board, as you can see here, and you get slice after slice after slice after slice after slice, as long as the vegetable lasts. But you know the good thing? Every one of these slices is exactly the same thickness. You know what that means? They all cook at exactly the same time. Vegetable lasagna. Vegetable lasagna. Get layers and layers of that. Cook, because you know, I don't know about you, but we haven't Watch this. as much time to cook as we, as we used to have. We're trying to find ways of making things quicker. Look at this. Now this is a potato, as you can see just here. But if you're making, uh, I don't know, dauphinois potatoes, they're posh, aren't they? Crisps. L oh, crisps, yeah. yeah. Have a look at this, this is easy. Uh, onion, what about a bit of onion? You want sliced onion, you can slice your onion as quick as that. You know, you slice it so quick, you don't actually even have time to cry. Perfect. Do you know what onions are? They're a pain in the eye. Aye. Yeah, pain in the eye. But you want sliced onions for a hamburger, a beef they burger, chili con carne. Look at that. Nice and fine. So on it's your bar beef, for example, this is the bit the onions you forget. Because yes. you can't be bothered to slice them up. And you want good burger band onions. That's what you want. That's exactly in what you got. In seconds. In seconds. But there's more. Hang on. There's more. No. Can you see this sharp point on I the end of the I did wonder what it okay. was. Have you ever wondered how to do those things? in your fruit and vegetables. Oh, this is the stuff you see on the all-inclusive. Well, you know what you do, don't you? You get your knife and you poke it in and you poke it in and poke it in and poke it in. By the time you get round the other side, it never ever meets up. Right. This is specifically designed, this V-shaped blade for a V-shaped cut. So you push it in, you move it around. Now you can do this with the uh, uh, kiwi, as I'm doing just here. You can do this with an orange, something as big as a melon, maybe something as small as maybe a radish or a hard boiled egg. It will do all of that for you. And it takes the guesswork out and you get a perfect result. So every you've covered time you all my using. things. Peeling, and it's easy. Prepping, presentation. presentation. You've got it all, so you get the slicing board. Okay. You get your peeler, remember the microblade technology, and you get your piranha julienne cutter as well. So you get all of that, and it does all of the jobs we've just showed you. And remember, from something as difficult as a butternut squash, it really is as quick and as simple and as easy as that, to something as soft as a tomato. Something maybe, I don't know, maybe you want to peel a cucumber because the kids don't like the skin. Maybe you want to peel a potato. Maybe you want to peel a carrot. It really is that simple and eat tomato. You like tomatoes? How do you peel now, the skin off a tomato? Right, I'm, I'm, I'm one tomato away from a purchase. You blanch it in hot water. Have you ever tried that? Done that. To try and to then, get and the, then skin pull the skin off. off, yeah. Have a look at this. You want to peel a tomato. It's as easy and as quick as I'm showing <gasps> you. Just here, all you do is hold the peel, uh, hold the tomato and move it round against your peeler. And that skin, as you can see, comes off there, is just the skin. Absolutely incredible. All of the flesh is where it should be. Oh, and by the way, when you get really, really good, if you don't want to use your slicing board, you can do it just like that as well. Yeah, you're showing off. So it really is easy. So there you have it. The Piranha with the microblade technology. Never again do you need to use a knife if you don't want to. This has the power to prep, to present, and to do everything you need in the kitchen. Piranha peelers. The peelers with the sharp teeth. Ow. The preceding programme was a paid presentation for Piranha, the peelers with the sharp teeth.